What is up guys, Coach Joe, Kitchen de la Swole. In this video, we're gonna be covering what I eat in a day. These videos are not very exciting. I eat very robotically, but you guys wanna see it. So right now it's approximately 9 a.m., okay? So I've been up since six. Typically, my wife and I get up around 6.15-ish every single day. I already got on the treadmill, did some cardio for about 45 minutes. I do that typically in a fasted state. And once I wake up, I just try to start getting fluids in. I'll use a little bit of electrolytes and then hit that cardio. While I'm fasted, it's personal preference, kind of just sets the day, gets my brain moving. And then now I'm having my first meal, which typically is a little bit earlier, but we have a different day today. So uh, for me, this is phase two of the cut. So I woke up at 2.59. I started around 2.77. So it's been just a nice, slow, steady process where I'm just losing about a half a pound, maybe a pound per week, nothing crazy aggressive, trying to preserve body comp as much as possible, uh, find a new base weight, and then kind of make our decision from there. I'll probably maintain that weight for a period of time, and then at some point, maybe add some mass slow and steady. But like I said, I eat very robotically and in, in phase two of this cut, so the cut will end roughly end of November-ish, or maybe like three weeks into November. Uh, I start taking away some calories that I don't necessarily think a lot about. So uh, to kind of make that more simplified, typically I know, a lot of you dudes are probably going to judge me and take away the man card because I do like cream in the coffee. Uh, but this is typically what I would drink. Instead, in phase two, we go for the fat-free half and half, and I want to add some sweetness to it. I'll just use a sweet and low or Splenda packet instead of you know, this just juiced up with more fat and more carbohydrates. So automatically saving some calories. When it comes to carbs, I'm a big 647 guy. So we got 647 bagels. We got 647 bread everywhere. We just stock up on this stuff. Um, so that'll be my carb choice of today. And then usually I'm eating three or four eggs, but in phase two, I'm just going to limit myself to either one egg or just egg whites. Reason being, I'm trying to keep my fats relatively low. I don't really go above about 60 to 65 grams of fat per day. And then I'll probably substitute if I don't use, you know, a couple eggs. I'll use the egg whites and I'll do these uh, bourbon apple chicken sausages, which have 5 grams of fat and 12 grams of protein per link. So I'll probably do egg whites, try to get some spinach in there for some micronutrients, probably two of these bad boys. And then I'll just kind of make a sandwich uh, using the 647 bread. And obviously throughout this video, I'll be putting my macros and total calories, all that good stuff. Um, but other alternatives, typically big fan of Pride Foods, cream of rice. Juju got me hooked on this. I've been using them since probably 2020. We have a whole cabinet stocked full of it. Uh, but this stuff's great, low in fat, obviously gonna just be primarily a carbohydrate base. Jordan loves it. And sometimes we'll just throw in protein powder in there. Uh, but just giving you guys some options. And then the other thing is I use Pam cooking spray. And then instead of normal butter, I just use, I can't believe it's not butter, uh, which uh, not the greatest tasting, but it gets the job done. And we are in the field of compliance here. So that's pretty much what we're having for breakfast. Like I said, nothing crazy. Drinking my coffee. And then of course, I'm gonna take my creatine in the morning. And then I got some magnesium. These are Draco Fuel supplements. So if you guys are interested, go buy some Draco Fuel stuff. Uh, but I typically like to take any of my supplements or morning vitamins after I have some food in my belly. Sometimes it just doesn't sit well with me, but personal preference once again. So we'll get meal one going and we'll just kind of take you through the day and you guys will see what I'm eating and how we're getting shredded. All right, I made the decision this video is probably gonna be a little bit lengthy, but I'm gonna kind of give you guys everything that you need if you're trying to set up your own cut and kind of follow along with what I'm doing. Uh, so bear with me, but if you stick around, it's gonna be great. But we have to show you the freaking tour of the fridge here, guys. So look at this, look at this fridge. This is a fridge of gains and shreds and pregnant women. So. Uh, what we have here, we keep our fluids up top. Pretty much all of our fluids are like zero calorie for the most part, um, but these are actually banging. So we got these iced teas. Uh, I guess Morgan Wallen created them. Uh, no, just that one. Just that one? Yep. Okay, just that one. This specific <laughs> one. Yes. So we're not drinking it ever. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, we have diet, caffeine free. I really haven't been taking in much caffeine. I got a ton of these Jocko uh, protein shakes, which just super convenient. I drink a couple of them throughout the day and that just really helps me get my protein intake. Uh, cranberry juice, Jordans, and then electrolytes, uh, which is either gonna be the Jocko Fuel or just some Gatorade. 
Um, but we always have meat stocked up. So this is a container of chicken. We made a banging Mississippi pot roast. Um, so that's in there, right? We have eggs, obviously. So my biggest issue is sweets. Uh, I'm a sweet tooth kind of guy. If it comes to other things, you know, I, I kind of can say no, but I always have some sort of sweets. That kind of looks funky, but this is just uh, sugar-free Jello. So at nighttime, if I'm having a sweet craving, I'll whip out one of these. Uh, but I also have some other contract contractions. Look at this. <laughs> I'm, I'm like stuck in dad mode. Uh, <laughs> contraptions to kind of help curb uh, that sweet appetite. Like I said, a lot of six, four, seven bread. We made our own pizzas last night. So that's kind of how we get in, you know, our guilty pleasure by being macro friendly. Uh, so we bought our own flatbreads. I make the, you know, the chicken myself and then we put uh, whatever seasonings and garnishes we want, but we can also track it. I'm a big yogurt guy. So I have a couple containers of the Oikos Pro 23 gram protein, just vanilla, and I can change it up however I like. Uh, and then down here, obviously we have a ton more of yogurts those are great just take you know for your lunch bag whatever um like i said big fan of these gilbert's uh chicken sausages we got a lot of turkey sausage as well uh regular bacon but like i said some of this is jordan some of it's mine some of it you know we make fit the macros um but up here big fair life guy so we have our fair life chocolate you know just a regular we got the creamer which we talked about fat-free ready whip so when i do make the sweet tooth cravings that i have instead of obviously using regular ready whip i just do the fat-free one um, just our normal condiments but usually with condiments for me uh, i just go sugar-free or just a substitute that doesn't have you know a lot of carbohydrates or anything like that uh just you know normal stuff and then down here oh yeah we got tons of meat right so we got ground turkey we got ground beef we got Angus beef, we got different cuts. I mean, man, we are stocked up with the freaking beef over here and just a, just a highly nutrient dense protein. Um, and what the frick? Anyway, um, down here, big Just Meats fan. So I have uh, like tons and tons of Just Meats. These are great in a pinch. So if we're not meal prepped or I need to make something quick, literally less than five minutes to whip those together, throw them in a container and they're really reasonable uh, price-wise and macronutrient wise typically always going to be high protein moderate to low fat uh, and then lots of vegetables frozen vegetables we do a lot of the kodiak uh, waffles or french toast sticks or pancakes uh, i also make my own that are macro friendly uh, but outside of that it's just going to be a lot of meat fruits veggies frozen stuff uh, like i said we keep it pretty basic but i just want to give you kind of a tour of the fridge and just give you an idea of some of the things that we have not limited to everything but just kind of a, a rough idea so today is kind of a unique day I actually have a speaking engagement that's pretty much from 11 30 to 2 30 so a nice window of time i always like to plan okay if you don't plan you are planning to fail so got the lunch box set up uh in the side of the lunch box i got two protein shakes if need be. I got a Diet Coke because it's Diet Coke and it tastes delicious on the tongue. I got another one of these Oikos Protein. I got a Nutri-Grain bar if I need just some quicker acting carbs or if I, you know, at this point when I cut sometimes I go a little bit hypo. So I never want to be in a pinch where I don't have some sort of sugar or carbs kind of help me there. And then in here I got chicken, rice with a little bit of sauerkraut. So I do like getting some fermented goods. And I also like rotating my meat sources either throughout the week or throughout the day, right? So we had eggs in the morning, we're gonna have some chicken, and then tonight maybe we'll have some fish or some beef or something like that, um, just so that we're kind of getting very well-rounded uh, with the different meat sources, as well as vegetables and carbs too. So this will be set to go. Um, I'm gonna get ready to kind of start the day, change, get my presentation all lined up, and then we'll be out the door to do that. Um, at some point, I will definitely eat what's in here, and then we'll catch up kind of as we're going through the day with some other topics or infographics of things that I definitely think can benefit you guys if you are trying to cut to be as successful as possible or also preserve and maintain as much muscle as possible throughout that cut, and we'll talk nutrition, macros, training, etc. You guys know Zeke, but I don't think you've met Max yet. So this is Mr. Max. He's such a sweet boy. Isn't he the sweetest? All right, so got showered up and now I'm actually heading to a high school. I talked to a number of different high schools, especially in the local area. And in this discussion, we're gonna be talking about 
mental health and stress management. So I've been doing this talk for the last, I wanna say three or four years and it's super rewarding and fulfilling and I think very important in today's world. Uh, when I'm at other schools, sometimes I'm talking specifically about strength and conditioning or kind of how to build a career when it comes to strength training and different pathways and you know, just giving back. I mean, that's the main thing is giving back to these kids. I love it and so fulfilling, hence why I also coach sports and it's really, not as much about the sport, even though I'm passionate, I love it, but it's also just trying to set these kids up for success in their futures, or at least know that I'm here for them if they ever want to talk or just want somebody who's unbiased and just leaving, you know, uh, an open ear or door for them to walk into that they feel comfortable with. So uh, I'm actually just going to slam my Jocko Fuel protein shake, 30 grams of protein. And then once I'm done, depending on the time, I'll probably eat that chicken and rice meal uh, and then kind of see where we're at time frame wise. And I like keeping my days busy, especially when I'm cutting because I'm getting a ton of steps. And so due to my activity this morning and my cardio, I'm almost at 10K steps already. So I project myself being somewhere between, let's just say 14 and 16,000 steps by the time the day's done. And since it's just moving like casually shopping or running errands and doing these things on the go, um, it's not building a ton of fatigue in my body and it's kind of distracting me from any cravings that I would have for food. So if you are somebody that's cutting or you're looking to lose weight, um, especially when you're doing that phase, try to keep yourself as busy as possible, which just kind of helps the whole process go a little bit smoother uh, and you're just staying active and burning off calories. So let's get to it and I'll check up with you guys in a little bit. All right, so presentation's over, went really well. Like I said, I just love doing that sort of thing. So now I'm gonna slam that meal, which is the chicken and rice sauerkraut. And I'm on top of that gonna use some Jocko greens, which since I'm not having a lot of vegetables with this meal, I can cover my basis by just doing a scoop or two of this and call it a day. But usually for my main meals, I try to get some sort of vegetables in there. And then also with breakfast, I try to do a little bit of fruit. I didn't today, but usually I have fruit somehow. So if I didn't get it in the morning, I'll probably have it with my snack before uh, the night closes down. But we'll eat this on top of that. A lot of people maybe ask, well, how much water do I drink? Uh, and once again, I'm just kind of rattling off information throughout this video. So hopefully if you stick around, you'll, you'll gain some knowledge. Uh, but I usually have about a gallon per day. So I drink about four or five of these per day. Uh, and then I'll also throw in a Jocko Hydrate for electrolytes. Uh, I really love just throwing these in in the morning because I'll wake up fasted and I just want to replenish any water or electrolytes that I lost throughout the night sleeping. So that's pretty much what we have with this meal. One thing I forgot to add is on the way back home, I did eat that Nutri-Grain bar. I did not eat the yogurt that I had in there or drink the Diet Coke, which doesn't matter because it's a Diet Coke. So currently in terms of calories, I basically had about three meals or two meals and a snack. That puts me at 156 grams of protein, 152 grams of carbs, and then 29 grams of fat. And we're about midway through the day. So on top of that, I will have dinner um, and then maybe a snack prior to dinner and then maybe a snack after. It just depends on how the schedule goes, but we'll tune in with the video. So a lot of people ask, well, what do you use to track? I have fell in love with Chronometer. So that's gonna be my main tracking app. Not only do I use it for myself, I also use it for the clients that I'm doing their nutrition and just overseeing. And it's really cool because you can get very custom and dialed into each specific athlete uh, or yourself by giving yourself goals and targets. And those goals and targets can change day to day if you're doing kind of high and low days, which I do uh, myself. And I'll talk about those probably in the next segment, but you can get really tailored and detailed uh, with this. And it gives you a ton of data, a ton of different charts and graphics. Uh, just so you can see your progress and track yourself along the way. So that's what I use there. So I'm gonna eat this meal and then in the next part of the video, what I'm gonna talk about is how I kind of do high and low days with my macros for this cut. And this is gonna be a three phase plan. So I've already ended phase one, which got me you know, from my heavier weight of right around 280 to today being 259. And then we're just starting phase two. So I'll explain the differences between uh, phase one, two, and then three, and kind of how I organize that. And you'll probably see some text uh, on the screen as well. So if you guys are paying attention, taking notes, you can apply this information for yourself. So a question I get asked often, and maybe you're wondering if you're somebody considering a cut, is how do I know where my calories or macros need to be? And it's a great question, and I'm gonna 
kind of summarize it as fast as I can. I made other detailed videos about this. I'm sure you can find it on the YouTubes. But basically, we need to figure out what our maintenance calories are first, okay? So say for me, it's 3,000 calories. So if I eat 3,000 calories a day, regardless of how those macros are partitioned, I'm going to keep the same weight, right, throughout that period or as long as I'm eating 3,000 calories per day. Now, all we need to do is subtract anywhere from 250 to 500 calories to put us into a deficit and just keep consistently with that. And if we're doing that, we should see that we're losing anywhere from a half a pound to a pound per week. And I consider that a pretty moderate conservative cut. And what we find is with a moderate conservative cut, you are going to have better long-term sustainability. You're going to have better body recomposition. And overall, it's just not going to be so much of a suck fest. Okay. So that's very important. Now, the only way to find that is we have to track on average what we're eating. Okay. And that's where a lot of people just don't want to put the work in is you need to get some sort of app and uh, you need to get a scale and you need to be inputting everything. Okay. Even the little stuff right now, obviously when you're starting, if you're off by a little bit, that doesn't necessarily matter as much, but the more you get into the cut, those little things definitely do matter. So sometimes people want to paint this perfect picture of what they think they're eating when in reality, maybe they're taking, you know, a spoonful of peanut butter here or a handful of chips or something later and they're not tracking that thing. It doesn't matter. And it definitely will absolutely matter at some point. So um, we definitely want to make sure you're tracking, figure out where on average your calories are. And then from there, we need to create that deficit. Now, in terms when it comes to body composition, if you're doing this cut and you are somebody who wants to maintain and preserve as much muscle as possible, I'm a big advocate for a higher protein diet. Okay, so I'm anywhere in that 0.75 to 1 gram uh, of protein per pound of body weight. So me being a 260 pound guy, uh, I'm typically trying to actually shoot for anywhere from 260 grams of protein per day or 275. Now, if I hit that 275, that kind of just gives me a nice safety net uh, because I want to preserve as much muscle as possible. And that slight increase in calories, I'm not really worried about from protein. Uh, so that's where I would probably put myself. Now, when it comes to carbohydrates, I'm a strength sport athlete. Carbohydrates are going to be my primary fuel source, so I'm probably going to make up a good amount of my calories from carbs, and I'm typically going to schedule those carbs around my training so that my performance is where I want it to be and we're utilizing those carbs. So ideally, anywhere around 50 to 60% of my daily carb intake is going to be pre and post training. And then whatever the leftover amount is, I'm gonna kind of scatter it in the meals that are not pre and post workout. Now when it comes to fats, I'll be totally transparent. Okay, we need fats for hormonal function and just being able to survive and function as a human being. Uh, I am somebody who's on exogenous hormones. Okay, that's, that's no shocker to you guys. So I just need enough fat for you know my body to function. And outside of that, it's not a huge issue when it comes to my hormones because my hormones are exogenous. Now, for the everyday person, I would say maybe you're going to have your fats a little bit higher than when I have mine if you're not somebody who is enhanced. Um, but you also have to figure out what works best for your body and what you feel the best doing. All right, the cut continues. It is dinner time. So I made myself some just meats. This is smoked turkey breast. Now, guys, this is the first time I've ever seen on a label, it says smoked and succulent white turkey breast. I've never seen succulent used with a meat before. So shout out to Just Meats. Definitely no affiliation or sponsorship whatsoever, but I'm just, that makes my nads happy that they said succulent. But anyway, I like these because they're very convenient. So we buy kind of like a box of them. If I don't have meal prep or I'm in a pinch, I just grab one of these, throw it on the skillet, five minutes, voila, we're good to go. Uh, since I'm trying to keep my fat a little bit lower, as mentioned earlier, this is 2.5 grams of fat per four ounce serving. And they come in 16 ounce serving containers, which is pretty solid. And there's 34 grams of protein per serving. So I got seven and a half ounces of the turkey breast. I got 200 grams of rice. The leftover goes in this container, throw it in the fridge. I can eat it tomorrow, whatever I want. And then I have this gem of a can. 
Diet Coke, caffeine free, because Jordan can't have caffeine, so I decided to suffer with her. And honestly, I think it was a great move. I really haven't had caffeine in months besides my pre-workout. That's it. Uh, or just a little bit of coffee. I really only drink about half a mug of coffee in the morning at the moment. So not uh, overdoing the caffeine, which I think overall is good, and especially for the long term. So we'll chow down with this. Current macros of the evening thus far is about... Uh, 2,116 calories, protein is about 220, carbs is 235, and then fat is rate at 38 grams. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I'm not training today. Today is an off day, and this week is a deload week, so I don't need more calories if I'm not training, and I'm still trying to keep this cut going. So with where I'm at today in terms of food consumption, I'm not suffering whatsoever. I mean, maybe I get a little bit hungry, but by the time that happens, I already have a meal and I'm good to go. Energy levels have been high. So the main premise of this whole thing is to progressively lose fat over uh, about a 15, 16 week period and not suffer that much. Uh, overall, it's been going great thus far and we're seeing the weight loss. We're seeing the fat go down into the gutter and we are still holding on to some bulbous tissue on the skin suit. So I'll eat this. We'll probably watch Game of Thrones. I got Jordan hooked on Game of Thrones. I mean, guys, if you don't watch Game of Thrones or like Game of Thrones, get the fuck out. Just kidding. Uh, but seriously. And then I'll probably have a little pre-bed shake or a snack, maybe some sugar-free pudding that we made the other night. And that kind of gets my sweet tooth, but it's not a huge amount of substance in my belly. So this will be the last amount of actual girthier meat that I'll put in the gullet. Uh, and then the rest will be liquids or easily digestible food so that I can sleep like a baby and hopefully wake up even leaner tomorrow morning.